The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institutet has today decided to award the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Svante Pebo for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. Well, I initially thought it was a joke, actually, that it was my research group who made an elaborate joke. Uh, but then it sounded a little too convincing, so... But it was hard to digest, actually, immediately. Mm, I hope we can continue to work uh, calmly and without being disturbed by too many journalists. <laughs> I mean, I should also say that we are very fortunate to work in the Max Planck Society and be very well supported. So it's sort of a great privilege to work here. I think the thing that is amazing to me is that we now have some ability to go back in time and actually follow genetic history and genetic changes over time. I mean, what really drives our work is really curiosity, I would say. It is just as if you do an archaeological excavation to find out about the past, we sort of make excavations in the human genome. But there might come practical implications out of that. I mean, we have discovered, for example, that in the COVID pandemic, the greatest risk factor to become severely ill and even die when you're infected with the virus has come over to modern people from Neanderthals. So we, we and others are now intensely studying the Neanderthal version versus the protective modern version to try to understand what the functional difference would be. And if we understood that, we could perhaps also treat COVID better. But it's primarily, of course, a historical curiosity-driven research, if you like. Humanity has always been intrigued by its origins. Where do we come from? And how are we related to those who came before us? Thanks to his seminal discoveries, genetic variants that are shared among all now living humans, but absent in Neanderthals and Denisovans, have been identified. Because then we have a reference point for who we are and where we came from. It's important for several reasons. One is because knowing our evolutionary history is important. We now know that there were two hominins when we migrated out of Africa and we had children with them. That's a basic knowledge that's important. But it also means that we can use the genome sequences to compare and try to find function of the similarities and differences we have and then learn about ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm.